Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha Allah, Kuholo Yimala, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahkhanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. You know, am I seeing this video? It's in um, news breaking. You no know, news break. Got these shorts now, and <laughs> just to just show you, man, how 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 the so-called black woman is, and the reason why everybody kind of looks at her like she's a damn beast, man. The so-called black woman is is number one on the list as far as notorious mascot for being the rudest, loudest, most uncaring people in the world, man. <laughs> and this right here is, is just clear proof, you know. Now this this lady right here to the right, right here, she she's pregnant. She appears to be Northern Kingdom, but she could just be a straight um, Southern Kingdom um, um, Judite, an Israelite. Now you got this guy back here in the military fatigues right here. You know he's explaining to the so which he shouldn't have to because when you're on a public bus, the seat next to you doesn't belong to your bag. You know what I'm saying? When somebody comes on and there's no seats, you, you move your fucking bag. It's nothing to put the bag down, you know, uh, in between your legs or hold it in your lap or whatever. So just in general, you know, and the scriptures talks about if it's at all possible to be at peace with all men. I can see if she may have even have thought of this lady as being a so-called white woman. I'm not going to do shit for her. OK, fine. But still, just out of common sense, man, just out of, uh, you know, just using wisdom, you know, you would still give up the seat because you know the seat is not yours now if no one is on the bus of course yeah you're gonna sit yourself down on a, in, a, in a seat that's next to you that's just you know natural you know what i'm saying but if somebody comes on the very first thing you should be doing is moving your shit so they can sit down and generally this would be something that the bus driver would handle so really in reality this guy right here he really he's he's in the wrong in that area because he shouldn't even be dealing with her he should be, um, you know, addressing the bus driver like bus driver. We got a problem here, you know, and then the bus driver will have the authority to tell the lady to hey, move your bag or get off the bus. If you don't get off the bus, we're going to call the authorities. They do that, at least where I live. <laughs> you know, a lot of the times it'd be police officers riding on the buses. They, they'll have um, two or so officers, sometimes in plain clothes, sometimes dressed in, in the damn uniform because these buses are so damn rowdy. But. They will have those police officers on these buses to um, situate stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just in case something, it depends on the city, though, you know, because some places are rougher than others. But let's play the video. This is for um, educational purposes only. Um, from Land Clips or L.A., um, capital L.A. Land Clips with a Z on the end. So, you know, uh, educational purposes only. No, no copyright, uh, you know, or, or copyright disclaimer. I'm not getting any monetary value. Or anything um, off of this so everybody will be looking at this video like she's a goddamn idiot she's an idiot man and no one I'm telling you man that hey when it comes straight down to it this is the reason why you you really can't get no help these days you so-called black women y'all really can't get no help like that because people are starting to look at you even your own men they don't want nothing to do with you that's why these guys is getting goddamn airplane tickets and flying the hell out of here trying to find a decent woman I'm talking about from older to younger so-called black women, they are, are, you know, and I'm not saying all of them, but generally, <laughs> you go out in the public, you're going to see nothing but chaotic as loud as wildebeest. Right? So let's play the video. See that? And if I was a pregnant lady, I wouldn't have wanted to sit next to her ass anyway. <laughs> I would have kept it moving anyway. After just a little bit of that, I'd have kept it moving. But let's get this real quick, because these are the days that we're in, man. This is why we tell you um, to uh, to repent, because we're living in the very last of days, man. Things are getting real, real nasty out here. Because Yahweh shot first off, he spoke of it in Matthew 24 and 12. He said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, right? 
So let's get that one real quick. Matthew 24 and 12. Now the disciples asked the Lord what would be happening in the end days and just before his coming. And this is just one of the things that he mentioned. Let me get verse 3 first to, to, to um, verify that. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the disciples want to know what's going to be going down. The Lord gave a nice list of things that would be happening in the end days. And Yahawashai, which it says Jesus um, verbatim, but we know that the Lord's name is not Jesus because there was no letter J when he walked the earth. His name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Yah meaning he, Hawashai meaning savior or deliverer. That's, his, that's the name that Gabriel gave the parents to give to him. You know, there was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. You can Google it right now. The letter J was invented in 1524. No one was saying Jesus when the Lord walked the earth. Peter, John, they wasn't running up on him like, hey, Jesus, can you explain it? No, no, no. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh. Well, you know, the world only calls Judah. And he spoke Hebrew. He was a Hebrew Israelite. His Hebrew name was Yahweh Shai and still is to this very day. And that's very, very important to know because white Jesus is idolatry. And a lot of our people are going to get destroyed calling on that name. And it's going to be a so-called black woman just like this right here. When shit hits the fans, she's going to be calling on. I bet you she believe in white Jesus. Because Christians, these, these white Jesus Christian believers, they're some of the rudest people in the fucking world, man. They don't have no, no real um, um, sympathy, man, or compassion. They, 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 they don't. They go to church. They talk shit like regular niggas on the street. They do shit like, a matter of fact, some of them worse than niggas on the street. At least a nigga on the street, you'll, you, at least you know where he coming from. You know, but anyway, the Lord's name is Yahweh. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that He exists or the existing one. His name is not Jehovah. Remember, the letter J was invented in 1524 by a grammarian named Dracino, I think is his name. But look it up. You can Google it right now. You're going to see that 500 years ago, the letter J was invented. 2,000 years ago, the Lord lived. That that wasn't around, and English wasn't around then either. You had your, your three uh, main primary languages that was being spoken at the time. Hebrew, Greek, Latin. You know, pretty much those were your, your basics, so to speak. But anyway, let's go ahead and, and see what Yahweh said, right? Yahweh answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Right? So let's jump to the point. Verse 12. This is one of the things Yahweh spoke of. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's so much sin in the world, people don't give a fuck. In the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, Sin will be rampant everywhere, and the love of many will grow cold. See that? So let's go back, let's get some more. There, and there you have it. Here she go. Now she thinking she can whoop on a dude. Now had that just been a you know a guy that was just like shit. I'm having a bad a bad day too, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And start whooping on her head and grabbing her ball that goddamn weed. You know, then she'd have been screaming and crying victim. So this is the world that we're living in. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the so-called black woman. She look at how those people are looking at her. Or you can't really see, but I seen the, the corner of this one so-called white lady sitting right here to the, 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 the um, you know, right to her left or on the left of the screen here. You know, she kind of gave that look like, God damn. But, she, but, but of course, she's not going to say anything because she understands that if she says anything, you know, she's definitely going to have to really fight this lady or this lady is going to attack her. That's how, <laughs> that's how they're looking at her. And I wouldn't doubt that she wouldn't um, attack her because look at how she's acting. That, that's complete fucking craziness right there. How you even leave your house with, 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 with enough sense to even get on a bus acting like that? You know, you'd be thinking that this would be coming from somebody that needs assistance, that needs somebody with them. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody with a, a, a mental problem. Like you need, you know, you got a caretaker or something. This is how she's acting, man. But that's that, 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 that brute coldness, man, that's in people these days. She like the baby is sitting in her stomach. Shit, the baby is fine. You know? 
we even have um, um scriptures where you you rise in the presence of uh, of the elderly. I'm not saying that this, you know um that this is an elderly woman, you know. But it's fucking crazy, bro. It's crazy. Let's get one more though. Quick little lesson, man. I seen that and I'm like, God damn, boy, Eve. Ooh, to the woo woo we. Hey, and, and these the women that that the men got to deal with when they go home from work. You got to deal with somebody with that kind of attitude, man. That that shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to come to the job and deal with Esau goddamn day long. Get out here, damn you, getting shot at in road rage, trying to get there and back. Going through some bullshit, trying to stop at the supermarket or grab something that's that's needed for the house. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with some black woman with her goddamn face screwed up at a damn cashier. Um um um. You know, you're just trying to check out. You got to deal with all that shit, and then you get home, and you got to deal with a black woman like this, man. That shit is retarded, bro. We need out of here. So we're praying for the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom on a day-to-day -day basis. And, the day, and, and today is the day of atonement. And that's one of the things I'm praying for. I'm praying for mercy. You know, I'm praying for a bunch of stuff. But most definitely, the Lord tear down his kingdom, man, because we need, um, you know, our rule back, man. It's nothing, it's nothing more, it's nothing more, well, I can't say, you know, it's a pretty bad feeling, man, when, when, when you're as a, I'm just going to come from a, a, I'm a man, a man aspect when, when you're just, you're not feeling appreciated. That's, a, that's a, a really fucked up feeling, especially when you're doing all that you can for whoever's around you. And then they just look at you like you're not shit. They treat you like you're not shit. They talk to you like you're not shit. Everybody else can get a smile. Everybody else can get a, hey, how you doing? Hello. Oh, I will go out of my way to do whatever I can for you. You need help. Motherfuckers will get in a car. They'll go all across town to help out a friend. But when it comes to their spouse, that man, hell no, especially the so-called black man. Anyway, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and it's entitled on the KJV side, the um, King James Version, Difficult Times Will Come. And on the New Living Translation side, it says the dangers of the last days, man. So, matter of fact, let's read it on the, um, the New Living Translation. 2 Timothy 3 and 1, you should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times. And these times are coming to the so-called black woman that's acting just like that. So just imagine what she's going to be acting like when things really, really get bad. Since she's having a bad day that day. Your day is going so bad that you couldn't move your bag for a pregnant lady. <laughs> oh boy, just wait, wait, wait till there's no food. Wait till there's no 911 to call. You're not gonna be um, um running up on no no men like that um in, in, in these in these 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 perilous times. You're gonna be trying to get protection from a man like that if anything. And because you've shown no mercy, you're got you're not gonna receive any. See, that's the type of um um seed that you don't want to sow. This type of seed that she just sowed, you know, uh, you, you're showing no mercy, so you're not gonna get none when you really need it. Verse two, it says, "For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God." disobedient to their parents and ungrateful they would consider nothing sacred <laughs> they will be unloving and unforgiving see that's the point that i wanted to get in um kjv it says without natural affection you know that that was a scene that was a perfect scene of without natural affection they will be unloving and unforgiving they will slander others and have no self-control you can clearly see she had no self-control they will be cruel and hate what is good. That was a very cruel act that she she um done, man. Cause I I'm willing to bet you had that been her mother, had that been her sister, had that been her auntie, or even one of her best friends. That could have been one of her coworkers that she could have been cool with, and they could have been on the bus. And motherfucker got their bag sitting there, and they wouldn't move it. I'm willing to bet you she'd have been ready to um go to war. I'm willing to bet you, man. So so a bunch of goddamn hypocrites. Verse four. They will, be, they will betray their friends, be reckless, <laughs> be puffed up with pride, and love pleasures rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Yup. So, I mean, you, hey, you get it, man. And, and matter of fact, let's get another one. <laughs> yeah, you, you damn Israelite women, boy, y'all so at ease in this place, boy. Ooh, to the woo-woo. And this is why, um, you know, men are just looking like they're blowing all past your ass. They won't hold no doors open for you. They see your ass on the side of the road with a flat your hood up. They, they blowing all past you. They're not stopping to ask if you're okay. Some of these simps will, you know, but, you know, generally these men are keeping it moving. 
Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall, be, shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So which goes, that's really just going up into unrepenting, being shamefaced, knowing your role, coming back to what the Lord said your position is and not being all fucking masculine, all heady, high-minded. Scripture talks about that, man. She is at home if she has a husband or, or children. I couldn't even imagine it, bro. Like this shit is retarded, man. It, this, <laughs> hey, but this is a clear example of where we are in, the, in these end days. And, and another thing too, because I think this was an Edomite that whipped that camera out. Hey, people, hey, people, hey, the camera button is right there in the corner of your shit. It's nothing for you to pull that camera quick as fuck, because they they had to pull that camera quick as fuck. Like this. She, she, she's, she's just not. You can't deal with her, man. I'm not. And like I said again, I'm not saying this is all of them. You gotta just really vet. You know, vet anybody that you meet. Anyway, I'm not saying that all so-called black women are like that. But living in this society in America, it just kind of want to. It kind of makes you want to just not. Fuck with any of them at all because you just never know when it's gonna come out. <laughs> you know, you just it is it, it's, it's that thick. That's how thick it is in the atmosphere that you would just not even want to even deal with any of them. It's enough you have to deal with your mom, your sisters, your aunties, and cousin, girl cousins, because we they, even even they treat their um their family, you know, their male family members dirty as hell a lot of the times. You know, they talk down on them. They don't give them any kind of respect. You know, it's just always, nigga, if you can't, if I can't get nothing out of you, I need you to fix the car, I need you to do the plumbing, I need you to take the trash out, I need your money, I need your wallet, I need your money, I need your wallet. Pay my phone bill, pay for my nails, pay for my, pay for my, pay for my, and that's it, that's all that, that's all that, and you can't do any of that, trust me, she's booking. She's booking on you, straight up, man. Let's play it again and I'll end out. Like I said, see all these women, see the women right, the woman behind her right there, she's just sitting there looking like, let's just get this bus moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, the, see, the, the, the man, he do, he, he has a, a zeal, but he probably should have just sat there himself. Again, other than that, like I said, I would have just said, you know, uh, uh, you know, if you had, a, you know, uh, uh, something to say, I would have said it to the bus driver. And then I know the bus driver had to be hearing this shit. And a lot of the times, these bus drivers, they don't want to get involved. They just driving. They just like, fuck that. I don't want nothing to do with it. But that's their job. And I know, like, um, I'm not sure. I haven't rolled a bus in a long time. But I remember, like, they had, like, two. Here in Detroit, they got two separate buses. They got one that's called DOT that runs the city, as far as Detroit. Dirty as hell, nasty as hell, smell like piss and shit. You know, uh, rarely cleaned. I'm not sure, you know, what, what it's like now. But now what that bus, what, what they would do, those buses would do when they get to the outskirts of the city, they would stop at pretty much the city state line or the city limit right there. And then there's another bus service that's called SMART. Like, you know, S-M-A-R-T, -S SMART. And so those buses, they go into the suburbs. Those buses are clean, fresh. The windows, you can see through the damn windows. The floors are, are, are pristine. Everything is clean. They run good. You're not smelling damn exhaust. You know, <laughs> like for real, because that's how them DOT um, buses be. You be, be, you know, inhaling a bunch of damn black smoke because the buses are not taken care of like that. And, and, and of course, that's because we're under the curses. But 
those smart buses, when you get on those buses going into those suburbs where those so-called white people live, oh, they got a phone right there, man. They hit that bitch and that motherfucking emergency service is popping. It's like they're connected with the police. They don't even have to even talk. Them shits, they, they got like, a, like damn near a bank button if you robbing a bank. Now, in Detroit, they got the same system, but guess what? The motherfuckers half the time don't work. They broken all down. And if, and if they do work, motherfuckers not coming like that anyway. But I'm telling you, in them fucking um, white suburban neighborhoods, them motherfuckers is on your ass as if they was riding the bus to begin with. That's how quick they pull up. So they would have got they would have pulled up, heard the situation, and threw her ass off of there. And if she acted up, they'd have threw her ass in the back of a squad car. And banned her ass from ever riding the bus again. And, and, and that would have been detrimental because a lot of um you know, um, people really, de um, you know, depend upon a bus, man. I've, I've done it. I've caught a uh, 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 motherfucking two, three uh, connections, man. For years when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? Going back and forth to work, getting caught up in rain, getting caught up in snow. Sometimes bus is not coming. Motherfucking toes freezing. Damn near um, um, frostbite. So I know what it's like to be on a bus. See a bus like this right here with this commotion, them stopping shit. That could make everybody else miss their connection. Now, even now, I would say about those smart buses as well, this is how, how smoothly ran their system was. If they were a little bit behind on their schedule, just a, a few minutes, and something had happened, they would get on, they would get, they had like phones. They would get on a phone or whatever, like a bus, a phone on a bus, not a cell phone. I don't know what it's like now, but they would get on there and they would call ahead to the next connect, connecting bus and ask them, well, hey, I'm behind a few minutes here. Um, can you hold up at such and such, such and such? I got a couple of customers on here that need that connection. That's how smooth. See, this is how I, now we, we could talk all the shit that we want to talk about Esau. But now Esau, you know, when, when it comes down to business in his little kingdom, he will handle business to a certain extent. But when it comes to Jake, I've seen Jake. Jake will be driving the, the, the DOT bus drivers in Detroit. Jake will be driving the bus, man, and a C. They'll see. One of their own people, bro. Running hard as hell. They ain't, they ain't that far away from the stop. Running hard as hell, bro. Trying to get to that bus because they need that bus to get to another connection. And you know, Jake will hit the gas. Jake will hit the gas and blow away, man, on their own people. I've, I've seen that shit. I've actually stopped in my vehicle, told them to get in my car. Let me drive you up another couple of stops. And then you get on there and you explain to that motherfucker why he should have stopped. <laughs> I've done that before. Like, I, I would have liked to have seen the conversation once they stepped on the bus and seen that, hey, I'm that person that you just passed up back there, man. Why didn't you stop for me? I'm literally, that's how, that's how fucking pissed off it made me when I seen it. To the next couple of stops, you can get on there. And I know motherfucker probably got on there cussing his ass out, you know. <laughs> but but that you know I, I understood it because I've caught the bus before and you know what when see a lot of the times see, right now is Esau is starting to break down because they've never experienced what we've always experienced see we've always experienced a, 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 a you know a breakdown in society so we can see certain things and have compassion about certain things but see with Esau They've never experienced that. So now they're falling to that area of despair. So now they can see what well, God damn, I can see what they all were. How did they ever survive this shit? How have they been going through this all this time? So, you know, hey, you, hey, you read what you sow, man. You know, hey, hey just, just a, a good gesture goes a long ways, man. A good, I'm telling you, man, hey, hey, you know, good gesture goes a long, long ways. You know, like I said, again, the scripture says, if it be at all possible, be at peace with all men. It's not looking like the lady is, you know, dusty, dirty, looking like, you know, she, she, she's, you know, a funky anyway. I mean, even if that's the case, you would just get up and go to another seat. I remember a time when, yeah, you would get up on the bus, you know, you get if, if, if a woman, especially an older um, gentleman or an older woman or just a woman in general, you would all get up and offer the seat. I know those days are gone, though, you know what I'm saying, because the so-called black woman, she'll take your seat and she won't even say thank you. You open a door for her ass, she won't even say thank. And people starting to see that. See, it's it's too far gone now. You can't you can't reverse what you've done. The, the damage that 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 you so-called black women have done over these past two decades or so, 
you know, have been really strong, like especially this last past decade with social media and, and the way that you act. As a matter of fact, it was another video. Check this one out. I forgot. I, I, I looked at this other video just before this one. Check this one out. Do we need men? No. Do we need a man? No. Do we need men? No. Why? No. Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? No. Why? Because we can be strong and independent women. And see, there you have it. There you have it. But see, the one thing about these women that you just seen in this video, they can they can just, you know, still push forward. They still kind of got it. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to you so-called black women, it's like y'all just all over the TV, all over all over social media. Everything that the world knows about you is ratchet. And again, like I said, it's not that, you know, all, all of our women are like that. But this is the perception of the women. If men don't even want they don't even want to holler at you to even see if you're not like that. They just like, fuck it, we're done. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, man. I'm just being straight up. This is just a straight up assessment. You know, hey, being in this truth, we got to tell the truth. It's not to down you or, or, you know, hey. So to you women that's into this truth, you already know what's up. You should be, you know, being shame, face it, hey, treating your family like how you're supposed to handle the business in the house like you're supposed to be, you know, treating your, your husband or your spouse the way that you're supposed to be treating them. You know, and, and because of that, you know, the Lord see you, the Lord see you, see you, you're on a higher plane, so to speak, because he knows that your ass should know better. So you can't be acting like these women of the world. You can't be acting like them, man. You know, so anyway, I'm going to end off there, man. I just seen that. I'm like, God damn, Eve, like, ooh, we. And it's just crazy, like, I, you know, she's really ready to uh, face off with this guy like she can beat him, man. But I'm telling you, man, that shit is, hey, you, we can clearly see these days, a lot of that is coming to an abrupt end, man. These dudes not playing no games no more, man. They'll put hands on you right in public, in daylight, in front of who the fuck ever. The scripture says that they would not regard their kings or their princes. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing that, um, second address, chapter 15. Hey these, hey, these people don't even care about the police no more, man. They'll put hands on a woman in front of the police. They'll knock your ass right out. These men are deleting women like it's nothing, man. Like it's nothing. I just done a lesson the other day. I seen it was a um, our, um story. This guy, he woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, you know what I'm saying, and met two chicks at the job that he got fired from, threw some gas in the car on their asses and set their asses on fire. Two young, two young um, women. I just seen a story just now where a guy, he, he, he dismembered his wife and, and, and pureed her in a goddamn blender. You know how many small pieces you got to cut up to, to blend somebody? Are you fucking kidding me? You know how hard bone is? I ain't ever heard of no shit like that. He was a damn Edomite, though. Jake just, you know, on Facebook Live, I can't take it no more. And, and, and run down on, on, on his woman, man, and, and, and knock her ass off. Dumping clips into him. It's nothing, man. So you're living in the last days. You're living in some very treacherous times. And the best thing that we can tell you is to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the Israelites. And the Lord is about to come down real hard, man, on our people. Two-thirds of our people, and especially you women. Guess what? If you're by yourself, you've been talking all that out. We don't need a man. But when you're by yourself and all this shit breaks out, it's not going to look good for you. It's not going to be a good look. Some of y'all are going to try and hold your own. You know. Some of you may, you know, you got your little pistols, you got your little guns and shit like that. But once you get rid of those two little clips you got, because you y'all don't have sense enough to buy no damn bullets. Once you dump off those couple of little clips, it, it's going to be a wrap for you. And it's not going to be anything to, to, to a group of men that's ready to break into your damn house, man. To ravish you and your children. 
They're going to tie your ass up. They're going to eat your food. They ain't going to feed you. They're going to eat that shit right in front of you. They're not going to feed your kids. You're going to be begging, well, can you please get my baby? And they're going to be like, man, with their foot up on your table looking at you like you stupid as hell. Drag you by your goddamn hair. Probably going to do you right in front of your kids. They're not going to even care that your kids are even watching. If they like your son, they're going to get him too. If they like your daughter, they're going to get her too. If they like your goddamn dog. Because <laughs> some of these motherfuckers, these goddamn, these Edomites, they into shit like that too. So you just never know. Because the, cause the scripture says it's going to be just, it's going to be like a time um, that have never been seen in the earth, man. Jacob's trouble, man. So y'all need to repent and, and get off this, 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 this high ass horse that you're on. Here you go. You on the bus. Just think about that for a minute. You're on the bus. And you are here, you know, acting as if this is your fucking Maserati or your, your Rolls Royce. You on the bus. You stood at a stop to get on there. You got to get off that bitch and probably catch another bus or two boat buses to get where you're going. Then got to catch the same buses back home. See, this is the type of person. I, this is the type of person that the bus driver, if they see you at a stop, they'll they'll blow all past you. I've seen bus drivers do that before. Like he's a troublemaker. I'm not even stopping for you. And motherfuckers be screaming, hollering. You can see him out of the window. But the bus driver done dealt with him three, four, five, six times. Like, nope, I'm not even. Matter of fact, their supervisor tell him, "Hey, you see him? Don't stop. You see her? Don't stop." And she'll be the type of person that's standing at the bus stop and that bus driver will rem Oh, that's homegirl. That's the chick that was on here acting a goddamn fool and blow all past your ass. And you have to wait an hour for the next bus or whatever amount of time. Anyway, I'm going to end out there, man. It just, this is just ridiculous, but it's not surprising coming from E. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashar on the Bible Ball. We almost out of here, man. This right here shows you we're almost out of here.